Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a video um, try on slash review of a product that I've actually had for a while. Um, I bought this eyeshadow palette back in September, I think. Um, and I had been wanting one for a while. There, there are several different ones. Um, but I had been wanting to get a palette from this brand for a while because I had seen so many YouTubers get them and really, really, really like them. Um, because they are affordable, the pigment was just supposed to be amazing, and they did come in so many wild colors. So today, I am talking about my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. So um, this is one of the newer palettes that they came out with, I want to say late summer, early fall. Originally, I wanted to get the Masquerade palette. Um, when it first came out, it was supposed to be limited edition, and it sold out pretty quickly. I remember Nikki Tutorials on her channel using it, um, and it just looked amazing. I had also seen a couple other YouTubers use it, and it just looked really amazing. And those kind of really bright, vibrant colors really call out to me. And I felt like those were the type of palettes that I could really get some longevity with as far as using them for um, burlesque and belly dance um, to use with my costuming. So quickly, Juvia's Place became really popular. The Masquerade palette was sold out for a really long time. Then they, they came, they back, they brought it back in stock. Um, and then they came out with a couple others. I think there was the Magic palette, which looked really amazing. And then back in September, they had a sale. I don't remember why they had a sale, but I don't know if it was a Labor Day sale, but they had, they had them, they, they had a sale. And so I was like, I'm going to finally get a palette. So I was looking at the palettes and I saw the Zulu palette, which I think was their newest palette. Um, and it just looked really amazing. So I bought this sucker. I want to say it was, it maybe ended up being, I think $23 was shipping. It did not take it very long to get to me. Um, like I said, I've had it for a while. Literally all I've done is opened it, taken the palette out and quickly look at it and put it up because I knew it was something I wanted to share on my channel. And the winter, I mean, winter, the late, um, summer, fall and early fall and fall has been really super busy. I've been sick. Um, I've just, I haven't really been motivated and so now I finally feel like I'm feeling better and I, and I want to do some more videos. So I wanted my first time using this palette to be on my channel. So like I said, this is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and it's in this really pretty unicarton. It does have a iridescent shimmer. If you can see. Um, very similar to the, um, if you watched my last video, the Cover FX um, Illuminating Setting Spray has that same pearlescent shift, I guess you would say. So let's take this baby out and let's look at it. It did come wrapped in bubble wrap, which is awesome. And like I said, I have pulled this out once. So here is the palette. Yeah, so let's open her up. And that little plastic shifted fall out and there she is so as you can see very colorful um, the only regret that I have is that there aren't shade names on the back um, and that there isn't a mirror but for 20 bucks I want to say it was less than 20 bucks you know what do you do um, so I got this palette because I felt like it had the broadest range of colors You've got a purple, you've got a fuchsia, you've got a rose gold, shimmer, green, you know, like a turquoise. That's turquoise. You've got an emerald green, and then you've got kind of a sea foam green, an orange, a yellow, and a brown. So the only thing that I wish was in here that isn't is that I wish it did have a red, um, a bright red. But there are some other palettes of theirs that do have that kind of bright red orange color. And I know the Nubian palette is more of like um, a warm toned nude palette and, and everyone seems to like that. So I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going for tonight, but 
I wanted to do something fun. So I'm thinking maybe let's go with the orange and let's go with the fuchsia and maybe even some yellow and let's see how it works. Since it is fall, maybe doing a fall look will be fun. I might put some of this rose gold on there. Um, I don't know. So that is what the palette looks like. Let's see if there are shade names on the box. Okay, there are no shade names on the box, but this is what the back of the box does say. It says, Art is Life, the ambiance of the Zulu palette. See, I can't even read. Art is Life, the ambiance of the Zulu eyeshadow palette takes on a new character. It exemplifies the rich arts of the Nibel people of South Africa, embodied with colorful symmetry and precision, a limitless expression of self through eccentric hues, earth tones, and exotic metal shades metallic shades, excuse me. So that's kind of what we saw in the palette. Um, we saw some eccentric cues, earth tones, and then those metallic shades. So let's get right into it. Let me get all of my brushes together and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I wanna do some swatches for you guys. Before we get started, I just think that this palette is so beautiful. It just it just calls to all my aesthetics, right? So I just love it. So let's do some swatches for you. Um, I really want to try. Let's do let's do the orange and the yellow and the brown. All right, and so we'll do them right here. So there is the orange the yellow, and then the brown. So really pretty. And then over here, let's do, let's see, we'll do the green, the shimmer, the turquoise. One swipe. Ooh, look at that green. Look at that, you guys. Look, look at ha. Sorry, I've been watching Hey Queen all day. I'm running out of fingers. So yeah, I'm really excited about the pigment of these shadows. Okay, and if you don't know what Hey Queen is, YouTube, um, Google you Hey Queen hilarious um so yeah look at ha i've been watching hey queen too much okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started i think i'm gonna take this i really kind of want to lay down a base there's not like a good shade in here for a transition so i'm gonna go into one of my morphe palettes and just use um this color right here this color right here is a transition you know what Fuck the transition. We're not gonna use a transition. We're going right into that orange color. So we're gonna go into the orange. Now well, let's see. She's very pigmented. And let's just take her into the crease. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing this? Look at this orange. It's orange for sure. I'm gonna try and keep that in my crease. And I'm looking down here because my mirror is down here. Okay, so I may come out of this looking a bit like a clown, but that's okay, I don't care. I'm going to a show tonight. Some friends of ours that are in um, a band called Nightmare Sonata are playing, and they don't give a fuck what color my eyeshadow is, so fuck it. And yeah, let's see if I can blend that out a little bit more. I did um, set my eyes with some concealer and also go over top of it with a bone shade um, to give me a good base before I went in with this crazy orange. And I'm just trying to blend it out a little bit, go in circular motions. Because I think I'm gonna definitely go in with that pink shade, but I wanna get this a little blended first. 
this palette is definitely um it's not for someone with a fear of color i'm not that bitch um so if you are someone who is just like I like my neutrals and I like my browns and I don't really like to go outside the norm with my eyeshadow colors. Um, I would say get the Nubian palette because it does have a lot of that color scheme going on. I want to say there's two Nubian palettes now, um, but um, it's a very beautiful palette as well. Like I said, I'm just not someone who likes to go for that very neutral color palette. Um, I do like to use my Morphe palette more for like day-to-day -day looks, um, but I do like a really bright color on the eyes. I was kind of hoping there was like a really dark blue because I was totally going for that dark blue. So there is the orange. Um, I think next I'm going to go in with the fuchsia color and I think I'm going to do that one all over the lid. And actually, I think I'm going to do the brown first. Is what I'm going to do. So let's take, let's go into dip into that brown. Once again, lots of pigment. And I'm just going to concentrate the brown on the outer edge here and kind of bring it up a little bit into the crease and a little bit here onto the lid. and just deepen up that orange shade. Okay, so there I have the orange and the brown. Now, let's go in with this fuchsia color. And I'm gonna get, let's see what I want. I'm gonna take this packer brush and let's pack it on a lid. So pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush and go back into the orange color and try to blend that out a bit. Yeah. So what do you think? I like it. Now, let's take some setting spray. And let's go into this rose gold color. And let's take it over the pink. And I'm going in with one of my favorite packer brushes from Wet n Wild. Love this thing. Got it at the dollar store, so I'm just going to squirt, squirt. That's what she looks like. Very pink. Ooh, pretty. That kind of just 
tied everything together. If you can see that. Lots of shimmer. Ooh, it's like a rose gold shift shimmer all over. I love it. And what I like is I can take this shade and I'm going all over all of it. And it's kind of just giving everything a really pretty shift, but it's not necessarily changing the color. It was kind of, that's kind of unexpected, but I really, really, really like it. I really like it a lot. I feel like it just kind of brought all the shades together. So, I'm going to take the highlighter that I've got in my hand, which is Princess Cut from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I'm just going to go right on the brow bone here, and also on the inner corner. So I am going to go put on some liner and lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Liner and lashes are on. I've put a little um, lip, lip liner on and I got this new, um, this new lip product from e.l.f. So this was at the dollar store and this is the e.l.f. lip lacquer in the color burgundy. It says it's supposed to be more of a gloss which is why I put the lip liner on but as you can see it's a really pretty um, wine color. So let's see how this works. I've never used this e.l.f. lip product before but these are my favorite types of colors. Look at that. Smells kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't smell, to be honest, it kind of smells like cardboard. You know that smell that cardboard kind of has, this like borderline vanilla and paper? That's what that smells like. I'm not a fan of this doe foot applicator. It's kind of hard to get right in the line. Look at that. Look at that lip, huh? Alright, well the lips were a fail, but overall I feel like this eye look was pretty successful. I really, really, really like the um, Juvia's Place eyeshadow Zulu palette. Um, tell me what you guys think. Did you like the colors? How did you think that it looked? Um, it, are there any palettes that you you um you've seen of theirs that you really would like to try i myself i would like to get more of their palettes um but i'm really happy with how this turned out so thank you guys for tuning in um make sure if you like my videos to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave some love in the comment box tell me what you'd like to see what you wouldn't like to see um what did you like about this video say hello to mimi she is always here me me. Mimi, say hello. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.